While portals to and from Aminos are prohibited, I can teleport within the confines of the island. It just takes more effort. Interesting. Thank you for procuring these items. With them, I can clear the storm when we're ready to depart. Oh, very well, if you insist. You may not believe this, but Emmerich and I do not always see eye to eye. He's as stubborn as his throne is uncomfortable. Why the Bretons insist their king must suffer every time he sits down, I'll never understand. Here, I'll mark your map. It was just north of here. I wonder how excited you'll be when the eagle and the lion are back together again. We tend to argue. A lot. I'll catch up after I prepare the items you brought me for the ritual. Have no fear, I'll be along shortly. I just need to... Never mind, it's complicated. Magica. Don't worry, I've got this. Go find Emmerich. I'll be fine, I just need a moment. Sea elf magics are always so particular. This little beauty will help us immensely, you'll see. This is the spot, but no Emmerich. That man is infuriating. This complicates the situation. Let's talk. Emmerich isn't here, but he left behind a number of green serpents. For a man of his advanced years, he can still swing a powerful sword. Emmerich is nothing if not reliable. Look at the way the dead serpents are laid out. Isn't it obvious? He left a trail to follow. It leads directly into the cave just up the path. Go ahead and look for him. I'll be along shortly. The poultices should have done their job by now, so I want to go back and retrieve Kaska. We will want her strength at our side before this is over. And she needs to be nearby when you signal for the rescue ship. Don't worry about me. If I could survive the politics of Somerset, I can handle an inhospitable island. I'll retrieve Casca and we'll meet up with you in a bit.
You there. I'm begging you. There was a shipwreck. The others need help. Our ship was attacked. But coral, I think. It just, it just grew out of the waves and... I don't know what happened to the other sentry, Veslin, or the sea elf prisoners we were transporting. I woke up alone on the beach. The sailors and other jailers call that place the Coral Cliffs. I won't survive the trip inside, but you, you're an adventurer. You're my only hope of getting the survivors out. Another House Murnard ship expects us. Our prisoner exchange is overdue. I counted the footprints. Enough for each of the prisoners and Veslin. She's with them, mark my words. I just hope they're all right. Get Veslin and those ne'er-do-wells out of the coral cliffs. House Mornard will see that you're compensated. The coral cliffs aren't an area anyone wants to be lost in. Strange noises thereabouts. <laughs> Makes me shudder. You find my fellow sentry and those prisoners of ours. Get them out of there safely. I need to rest my hurts before we move on from here. North. House Mornard has a larger ship waiting for them. We were tasked with taking the prisoners to the ship from Amino Station. Their captain gave Gold and her word that she wouldn't attack Mornard's ship in return for her crew's safe return. It sprouted from the waves like some curse from nature. Dozens of faces lost beneath the waves, prisoner and sentry alike. The lieutenant said the sea elves might act up, captain's bargain or no, but I have never seen one of the magic coral. This lot seemed congenial enough uh, for pirates. Their captain paid well for their safe return, but taking a sea elf away from land? No, I can't believe they did this. Powerful sea elves make weather trouble. Not what we got. Not the coral. Piracy may be the work of scum, but it pays well. This lot was lucky to be caught. Most pirates go down with their ship. I suppose House Dufort felt charitable when their patrol ship captured this bunch. Our ship held fifteen and ten sentries to keep watch over him. I only saw six prisoners and Veslin flee the ship before it was too late. I was the last to make it off before it went under. No, not as such. Uh, though there's one who's friendly with all the others. Kyrisnia. She got along with everyone and even thanked me a few times for their upkeep. Didn't think anything of the chatter before.
back. You, you're not one of those slimy druids. Who are you? I've got to get out of here. Why didn't I just drown in that shipwreck? They turned them into coral. Sunagil. Those elder tide bastards turned him into this glow. Then they fed the glow to the coral. They said that the archipelago belongs to nature. That they were carving a balance between the natural world and greedy mortals. They brought us through the caves and up to the platforms above. Then they shoved us into cages. Veslin. She was whole when I escaped. I offered to help her, but she wouldn't leave the others and I had to run. I had to. I can't do anything. Not against the Elder Tide Druid's power. But you... You can destroy their coral. The Elder Tide sacrificed my shipmates to it. Those druids need to suffer. The coral is inside the caves, just down that hill. Make them pay. I'll give up piracy if you do as I ask. Smash the coral! Free the others, please! now but oh, all right if knowing more about them will help you save the others i guess i can stay in this place for a bit longer oh, they're the ones who should be locked up in the amino stockade they're not even supposed to be here they corrupt nature even their magic does horrible things it hurts too the way sunigil screamed be a reason. Elder Tide druids can corrupt other sea creatures too. Urchins, sea stars, fish, crabs, that sort of thing. But the coral they corrupted here. It looks like the coral that wrecked the ship. They planned this. Changed the coral into something unnatural. It stinks of druid magic and blood. It'll look different too, if there's light enough to see. I'm not going to let them turn me into that. I passed by one a little while back. It should be down that way. The other corals are probably inside the caves. We could still hear our shipmates' screams from the cages we were locked in. Anyone still alive will be in the cages above. Destroy the coral! Make those druids pay!
Serpents to fight. Good. I'm just getting started. Over here, quickly. I don't know when they'll be back. Thank the eight you're not one of those druids. Hurry, get us out of here. The druids, they're using us to feed their coral. Us screams. I don't want any more of us to suffer that pain. Please, please get this door open. Sergeant Brusick survived the wreck. The Sea Elves said he was as good as dead. They regretted leaving him there as soon as those druids locked us all up. The Sergeant and I take care of our prisoners. That would be Kyrisnia. She offered to pick the lock on this cage, but I couldn't leave these two. Seeing the druids when they killed Suni Gil and the others, it broke their spirits. Kyrisnia's many things, but she's not a liar. It's my job to guard the prisoners. I failed so many of them already. I'll not fail these two. If you open the door, I'm sure I'll be able to rally their spirits and get them out of here. Either pick yourselves off the ground or let me carry you. We're getting out of here. Sergeant Brusick's waiting. appear to be one of these green serpent ruffians. Shame. I was hoping to notch an even 20. My friend, what a turn of fate to meet you here of all places. I didn't accidentally banish you to Amanos, did I? No, of course not. I'd remember if I saw your name on one of those prison writs. But what are you doing here? Pray tell. Lady Arabelle, you say? How is the dear woman? She and I have shared quite a few close calls over the years. But she only sent you? I assumed I merited at least a dozen nights or so. Ah, well, I assume you have a way to get us off this damn island. <laughs> 